Here I was, 16 years old. I had had all these dreams and plans, and now I had to sit back and watch them as they slipped away one by one. I may sit up here in front of you tonight and look positive and smiling and things like that, but I can tell you that there are days when this broken body just makes me feel trapped. And there are days when my attitude is anything but grateful. But you know what? I can look back over the last 14 years and realize that because of that accident and because of all the obstacles that I've had along the way, I am the person that I am today and I'm able to help people. And that's all I ever wanted from the very beginning was to help people. The ultimate measure of a person is revealed when they're faced with obstacles. In this life, we can choose to either be victims of our circumstances, or we can choose to face adversity head on and be victors. Here I sit before you tonight. I'm not a surgeon, I'm not an attorney, but I'm a wife and I'm a mom and I'm a teacher and I'm a hunter and I'm Miss Wheelchair USA. All of these titles I never in a million years thought that I would want to go after or that would leave me so satisfied and happy. Not only could I enjoy the same outdoor activities that I had enjoyed before, I could experience all of these new activities. I learned another important lesson, and that is that the outdoors does not have to be a scary place for people with a disability. Despite the challenges that Ashley has faced, she is a champion that encourages everyone to live life to the fullest, teaching us that we are tougher than any obstacle and that living out our dreams is truly accessible to everyone. Now they're, now they're literally over the top of your window there. This group's going to be a really good group to hunt, Ashley, because there's not any bulls or really spikes. It's all cows and calves. Okay. Several of them are just lone cows. When they come out tonight, hopefully we're going to have time to watch them and try to pick one of those dry cows. Sure. And then let them kind of just graze towards us. Yep. They okay. should come out in the field later this afternoon, feeding back out for the night. This is a really special place that, you know, you have this opportunity to look at so many animals and, and the habitat is perfect for what these elk love and flourish in. And Growing up in Indiana, I loved athletics, but at the same time, I still enjoyed getting outdoors as well. And so when I heard about um, an opportunity to go out west, I thought for me that would just be a dream come true. And so I heard about a camp that was at a working ranch. Little did I know that that adventure was gonna really change the rest of my life. It's like September out there right now. They're just bugling oh, and talking. Goodness. I think the last time I saw this many elk 
all together in one place was on the elk refuge down in Jackson Hole. And they know they're protected so they can all be in there, but I haven't seen this many elk in one spot in a long time. And here we are November 2nd and the bulls are bugling yep. and it feels like the peak of the rut. It does, sounds like it too. On a Monday morning, it was August 2nd, 1999. I was 16 years old. I woke up um, before the sun even came up. I went down and bypassed the horses, went to the back of the corrals where the steers were. And so I climbed up that log um, table and I got on the very top of all the bales of hay, cut the twine on the bale of hay. And like often happens, a little flake kind of fell off to the side. So I grabbed the pitchfork that I had been using and I leaned over to get that flake that had fallen. And when I did that, I actually started to fall as well. And the last thing I remember thinking was throw the pitchfork. That day changed Ashley's life forever. And in a single moment, she was paralyzed from the waist down. So when my accident happened, the first thing I thought was just ticking off all the dreams and plans that I would lose. And I really believed a lot of the stereotypes about people with disabilities, that they never left the house, that they couldn't get a job, they would never have relationships or have a family. And so I honestly thought my life was over. So I tried to think to myself, this seems like something that would end your life, but what if you could redefine it in such a way that it would allow you to not only have an amazing life, but help other people in similar circumstances. And I think that was what saved me, was getting back outdoors, focusing instead of on myself, but on other people, and just trying to think of how can I still be useful? How can I still have a great life? We saw so many elk this morning when we were scouting. So if we can get it set up here good and just sit and be patient and wait, I think they're gonna come out and give us a good shot. So we got some nice natural cover, which is always good, because I'm not sneaky. It's been an amazing journey since then, but every good thing in my life over the last 21 years now has been a direct result of that accident happening. But again, my end goal was to help people. And so now I am an author, I'm an outdoor writer, I get to spend time in the outdoors mentoring other people, and I'm kind of a disability advocate, I guess you would say. But these, these are for Ashley. Yes, <laughs> my lucky hunting snack. Let's Ashley tell me the future. What makes these gummy worms better than every other gummy worms? There's two things. Number one is the texture. It's much softer than a regular hard gummy worm. Number two is the flavor. Instead of just tasting like flat, like sugar, you can actually taste the fruit juice in each of them, so, which means they're probably healthy. So they're the perfect hunting snack. And they come from Indiana, which is where I'm from, so. And you know what's healthy? When the first ingredient is corn syrup. Corn is a vegetable. That's so corn syrup can't be as bad as they say. So we just had a really neat encounter with a cow and a calf. They were in the heavy grass and something spooked them up. They were, must have been bedded down because she was really nose in the wind and looking behind her and stuff. We're not in any hurry today. We've seen so many cows. We'd rather just wait for a good shot on something that's dry, doesn't have a calf with it at all. We've been waiting all afternoon and they just, of course, appeared out of nowhere. They're still a little out of range, so we're just gonna be patient and see if we can't get them to graze a little closer to us. Oh, they're fighting. <gasps> that cow that's just to the left of the spike. Let's key in on that one. She's looking right at us, but she's starting to turn. Yeah, that's exactly right. When she turns all the way over. Okay. A little bit more, a little bit. Okay, here we go. Ready. Got her. Good shooting, Ashley. She just dropped. Whew. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> now I'm going to start shaking. <laughs> Wind couldn't have been better. Oh. Whole setup could not have been better. 
I was like, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh my You gosh. shot perfectly. Oh. That was fantastic. There's just something really special about giving, giving the opportunity to someone to provide for their family. And you know, people may look at me and think, you know, everyone does everything for me. So to be able for me to do something for my family, like it's very empowering to me to be able to come out and do something like this. And so I'm gonna be telling a lot of people about this place, especially those with disabilities. And I hope they'll be able to come and have the amazing experience that I did. When you hear people talk about this being a magical place, they're not being sarcastic. They're being very honest because you get here and you just feel at peace. You look out your window and not only do you see beautiful scenery, but you get to interact with these amazing animals. And so I have no doubt in my mind that anyone that gets the opportunity to come here will have just as an amazing experience as I have had this last week. Looking back now, I'm actually more active in the outdoors now as a person with a disability than I ever was when I was able-bodied. And I think the key was I don't take it for granted anymore. I started to notice really just a healing overall and not only my physical shape and, and, and staying active, but really just in mentally and emotionally, there's just something very cathartic about being outdoors and being in places where you can look for miles and not see anything, but just this beautiful, amazing world that God's given us. And I'm the only person that limits myself. And if I wanna get out and try something in the outdoors, I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll find a different way to do it. The hardest times will often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Ashley's courageous story of how she redefined her life is one that reminds us that God truly has a perfect plan for us. In 2017, Ashley was selected as the Safari Club International Pathfinder recipient for being a natural outdoors woman and adventurer with a powerful message of adaptability and perseverance that she shares with audiences around the country. Ashley is on an adventure that is inspiring the world while living her redefined life. To learn more about her journey or to get a copy of her book, A Redefined Life, visit her website at ashleylendvall.com.